the Corona Mandala. I did not plan to draw the Corona Mandala. It happened when I made my third YouTube video, Therapy for the Stir Craze. The original idea for the Stir Crazed video was to bundle together a bunch of ideas about how to stay sane during the coronavirus lockdown. As I made the video, my ideas became crazier and crazier. The purpose of the video changed. It became a video about a man who was sane and who tried to stay sane while locked inside. But everything he did backfired and led him down the path to insanity. One of my good ideas was to draw. Drawing is a wonderful and healthy way to express thoughts and feelings. I draw freestyle mandalas, and I described the concept in my first YouTube video. My favorite way to draw freestyle mandalas is not to plan ahead. I sit down. I let my mind wander. I follow my mind wherever it goes, and I draw what I find there. For my stir-crazed video, I drew three mandalas. When I drew these mandalas, I first thought about the moon. A few weeks before, I saw a beautiful full moon. I live on the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska, and the phrase moon over Kenai had been rolling around in my head. The Kenai Peninsula is surrounded by water on three sides. The moon was over the water. I thought about the Holy Spirit hovering over the waters at the beginning of the Bible. The Holy Spirit brought order out of chaos. The coronavirus was in the back of my mind and in the front. The coronavirus was doing the opposite of what the Holy Spirit did. Instead of bringing order out of chaos, the coronavirus was transforming order into chaos. So in my mind, when the moon rose over the waters, the waters were not calm, but turbulent. I named this mandala, Moonrise Over the Waters. With the moon representing darkness and chaos, I thought about the contrast between the darkness of the moon and the light of the sun, which becomes pronounced during an eclipse. I drew a mandala I named Partial Eclipse. The moon is unrealistically small, the idea being that the darkness of the moon is a blot on the light of the sun, just as the coronavirus is a blot on the light of society. But as the coronavirus spread, the moon grew larger. In the story I was drawing, the darkness grew into a total solar eclipse. I remembered the last total solar eclipse I saw. The moon blotted out the sun, but not the light of the sun. The light of the sun shone around the edges of the moon and formed what is called a corona, a gold crown. Scripture came to mind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Christ is the light. The darkness is everything that is not Christ, everything that is not God. The only reason we get to see the sun's corona is because of a total solar eclipse. Without a total solar eclipse, we will never see the sun's crown. This time, the days of the shadow of the coronavirus is not a time to despair, but an opportunity to triumph over darkness and to wear a crown of light. All these thoughts wove through my mind as I drew the Corona Mandala. Thanks for watching Pelican in the Wilderness. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.